Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sir Gabs again. In this video, we will be um, no, we will talking about this one. Uh, tong last na limit law. Na. This is very useful in solving limit laws. I mean limits because simple mode and solution. So all you have to do is to substitute. But of course, there are limitations and there are things that you should remember. That. Una, um, if it's a rational function, if the function is, sorry, if the function is polynomial, the result will always be a real number. So, when you say polynomial, recalling hopefully you remember the polynomial functions. No? If not, then you must review polynomial functions then. So, example, if I have this uh, find the limit, you know, find the limit of, say, 3x cubed, no matter how complicated would it be, 4x squared plus 5, basta polynomial lang siya, then that's easy using this method because all you have to do is to substitute right here, no? all you have to do is to substitute if you might have remembered no, I recall mo sa akong game one, um, x must be approaching lang and will never be equal so of course that's how the limits uh, the limit kana um, theorem started nga more gito nga solution pero later part there is a shorter way of doing it so more a shorter way of doing it na tuwan na lang siyang i-substitute but again, there are limitations to consider so una, kanina, dali raman niya siya kanina example, yung buha ito substitute raman niya siya, no? so that becomes 3 times 2 cubed minus 4 times 2 squared plus 5 so we can dali, you will come up with 3 times this 8 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2 no? katulong naman siya yung multiply by itself and then you have 4 times, I mean 4 times 4 and then plus 5 this will be 3 times 8 is 24 so I'll just write it na lang minus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 5 so from here 24 plus, minus 16 is 8 plus 5 is 13 so this will be your limit no? this is the limit of the function sa kanin ni A so pwede nang butangan is equal to 13 okay so every time polynomial ang function money polynomial no? polynomial ang function ang numerical coefficients are whole numbers ang exponents are positive numbers so mga si polynomial niya wala siya denominator no? dili pareha sa, rasyon, sa rational functions niya kani siya basta polynomial mo to basta polynomial function always ginagawa nga na ay kana ang limit sa real number now from from here let's have the example ng rational so sa rational function natin mga limitations so if you have let's say limit of um, 2x minus 1 all over x as x approaches let's say 1 so again button simple to write no? imuha rang a substitute so you will come up with substitute ng 1 diha you will have 2 times 1 minus 1 all over 1 so from here 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 is just simply 1 all over 1 is syempre 1 ready na answer na diha, no? so ito ang limit will be equal to 1 na so you will say this equal to 1 okay now, if we change the limit, we change the, you know, kanini ang value of A, for example, lang at. So, what if you are to solve this one, the limit of 2x minus 1, all over x, as x approaches 0. So, instead of 1, let's have 0 na this time. So, may tabo ala guys, no? when you substitute, you will come up with 2 times 0 minus 1 all over, syempre, 0. Now, from there, you have 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1, all over 0. So, as you can see, this number is actually undefined. No? Undefined man is a number. 
Ito lang isuwa tanan. Okay, so always remember guys ha. Nga after substituting, if the result is undefined like this one, when you say undefined na ka lang na ang na ay real number ang numerator, ang denominator may zero. So, kani, if this happens, then ang may tabuan na will be conclusion. Limit does not exist. Okay, so always remember that uh, if undefined ang result after substitution, the conclusion will be DNA. So in other words, the limit of the function does not exist. Okay, so that's it for this example.